All right, guys, we are trying this again. We are on our way back to Jenny's, this time on a Tuesday morning. Is it a Tuesday? Yeah, it is. It's a Tuesday. Um, when we came here on a Sunday, we got there just shortly after 11 a.m. So no more breakfast was being served, which was super disappointing. I was thinking about those pancakes. Um, so yeah, we're going back again. So something interesting guys is the main menu comes in like this nice glossy kind of official looking uh, pamphlet type of menu but the one that we get comes in a kind of a dingy old Denny's binder foreign language yes. menu. and you can see it's like it's like fringing on the sides here <laughs> like it's like it's a clipboard what's interesting is this is a 24-hour restaurant and there's very specific time slots for each menu so you can see the morning menu is from 6 to 11 lunch is from 11 to 3 and then I guess the grand menu would be any time after that so allow me to introduce you to the menu there's a whole lot of egg dishes sunny side up omelet some salads for breakfast that's interesting they also have a Japanese option and we've had Japanese breakfast before so it's not what I'm going for today but if you wanted to you can get your rice and your miso and your grilled fish but for me this is what I went for pancakes and acai bowl so this is the self-serve section where you come for your drinks they have a nice tea selection you can also get fancy coffees and for tea we have a teapot So there we have it, a little tray with our teacup, saucer, and a teapot. Wow, fancy. It is fancy. Fancy pants. Rob struggled a little bit with the tea. Yeah, but I ended up with some water. It worked out at the end. <laughs> it's a mean cup of hot water. And what did you get? Uh, I got a cafe latte, so I've been drinking wine for a while. So with your meal, Sam, we have a bit of east and west going on. Yeah, I intentionally ordered two because I wanted to show you what a contemporary twist on breakfast looks like here in Japan, in Tokyo, versus what a traditional breakfast in Tokyo looks like. Alright. So we'll start off with the contemporary one. I've got French toast. This feels very western. Yes, so before I do anything, let's get some syrup poured all over that. Oh, that French toast looks so fluffy. And it looks like it has a bit of uh, icing sugar. There's some sugar granules on top of it. It looks so good. Oh, that's a lot of syrup too. Let's dig right in. Pick a bite of that. Oh, that is a good French toast. Wow. Like that would rival French toast. Like anywhere, it's really, really good. I'm pleasantly surprised. I don't know why I didn't have the highest of expectations, but well, it's big really goods tasty. in Japan tend to be a little disappointing, so I'm yep. glad they've done it right here. Really good French toast. So we're moving on to the traditional Japanese breakfast, and it tends to come with the trifecta of three things always. So you mm -hmm. always get like a side of fish, mm -hmm. you get your rice, and voila! If I can open this, you get your miso soup. The miso. Okay. Yeah. And then over here, we also have the natto, which Fermented is yes, and they're really sticky. Wait till I wait till I try that, guys. They're slimy and stringy. Slimy and stringy. So I'm gonna start off with the fish here. I'm just gonna. I like how we're using chopsticks as a fork and knife just yeah. to cut things. Yeah, why not? So here's. Mmm, fish is nice. Oh, it's uh, it's very salty. I mm. like that. Looks like grilled salmon. Oh yes. Um, with a little bit of rice, it goes perfectly. Plain rice. I'm gonna try that miso soup now. That's also really good too. I love miso soup. Now to the interesting thing that I've been waiting to try. Yeah, this one's not my favorite. I had it once <laughs> and I was like, mm -hmm, yeah. And to, don't be honest, need to, and to be honest, this. guys, this is not my favorite either. This is a very, very much an acquired taste. Well, you can already thing. see the slime. Can you see the slime? Okay, now watch this. Watch when I pick out at it. Look, look at how much I can really that Yeah, that gets stuck all over your face. Look. Well, oh. may as well dig in for may the camera. <laughs> For you guys. Oh my gosh, look how stringy it is. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it doesn't have a lot of taste to it. It's one of the most bland things I've ever had in Japan, which is surprising because a lot of a lot of things have like strong saltiness taste or just like rich, nice sauces. But 
is as bland as it comes. To be perfectly honest, if I never had that again, I'd be okay. No natto. Yeah, no and natto. And can we also open that purple package? I'm curious oh. to see what's in there. Yes, no idea. We, we thought it might be seaweed, and we'd be thrilled if it is. And guess what, guys? It is. Seaweed? Oh, that's, yes. that's wonderful. And that's something that you can put you a little bit of rice in. You can eat it the Korean way. Pop it in like this. Roll it up. And look at this, you got bite-sized perfection. That makes eating the rice a lot more interesting. Why don't you try, why don't you try the natto? Okay, so Sam said that this natto is like the most, that one, once was enough. I gotta get in here and try it. Sam tried the I pigs, I think he meant this one as once is enough. Oh God. The fish is good. But... Yeah, the fish is good. You're gonna laugh at it. The fish is really good. <laughs> it's kind of like marshmallows. It looks like it. That's what once is done. So Rob is already working on his meal, but do you want to tell us what you got at Denny's? I, I really like it. It's like, I think it's, it's just a great combo. It's basically, you got a salad with an egg and some bacon on a bed of a pancake. Pancakes. And they even threw in this cheese slice, which I didn't ask for, but I'm not complaining about it. Yeah. So time for my breakfast. I went for the pancakes and the acai bowl. So I'm gonna grab some of this whipped butter. Get it on there, like so. Pour a little bit of syrup. Wow, that looks awesome, Audrey. Those look like nice, dense pancakes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, let's just dig right in. Mmm. Yeah, they're a little bit dry. These aren't my favorite pancakes I've ever had. No? I was expecting a little more fluffiness. Mm, well, let's try this. I also got an acai bowl. Hang on. Oh, pancakes getting stuck in my throat. <laughs> mm. That was so ready. So it looks like a chocolate acai bowl with some nuts, a little bit of oatmeal in there, banana, a raspberry, mint leaf, and a little bit of orange. Mm. It's kind of like a chocolate smoothie. That's pretty good. I think I like this more than the pancakes, truth be told. Well, Breakfast is over. Breakfast is over. As you can see, we put a big dent in it. The only thing we didn't really finish was the rice and the natto. But and the stale pancakes. I mean, considering, yeah, considering we had uh, ordered an entire extra set, I think that's pretty good. The overall verdict was like kind of mixed. We thought the French toast was pretty good. Also thought the tra traditional Japanese breakfast was good, but mm -hmm. the pancakes were, were a dud for sure. Yeah. By the time I tried it, I was like, yeah, they were really thick and stale. But I think in terms of the experience, it was it was interesting to try a Denny's in Japan. And I think it would be cool to come for the lunch and dinner menu as well. For hamburgers so, with melted cheese. Yeah, they have, <laughs> yeah, they have some interesting things on the menu for sure. In terms of the price, uh, mains were between the high 400s and 700. So you're talking between four something to seven US dollars. So the prices were quite reasonable. And guys, that's a wrap from Tokyo, Japan. We will have more food and travel videos coming for you soon.